Welcome back to The Rundown, everyone. I'm your host, Nick Simonson. Great to be with you here at Late Ice. We are getting geared up for a fast and furious run and a finish to what's kind of been a long ice season. It's been a chilly stretch here throughout February, but that means your time on the ice when things hit prime time is going to be extended into spring. And perhaps one of the funnest fish to angle for at this time of year is pike. Northern pike are still aggressive, they're still hungry, and they're getting ready to spawn. They might even spawn up under the ice if March tends to be a little bit longer and colder as well. So take advantage of this time. Now I know the season closes in Minnesota, but in other areas of Runnings Country, you will have access to pike and you'll have access to some really exciting fishing that will run up right until the ice comes off the lake. So be ready, uh, stop in at your local Runnings and get the gear that you need and take these tips out there with you to enjoy what's left of the season. Now first and foremost, pike are going to be getting ready to spawn. Uh, as we come into the end of February or the beginning of March, you're going to start seeing pike starting to congregate in those areas uh, you know, adjacent to bays, uh, on points that are formed by uh, inflowing feeder creeks. That's where you're going to find pike getting ready. And throughout the next month or so, they're going to be making that staging run. They're going to be getting ready to run up those creeks, run into those northern bays, and beget the next generation of pike. And that's where you can get on them. And you want to stay aggressive. Uh, pike are, are looking for food this time of year. Uh, they're getting a little ornery. They're ready to get going for spring. And they're going to be keying in on active lures like a, a jigging spoon or a jigging wrap, something with some rattle and some flash. And so if you stop in at your local runnings and get those larger spoons, those buckshot rattle spoons, those bigger jigging wraps, uh, the Salmo chubby darters, things that put out a lot of vibration, that's going to help you target those pike and bring them in for one of them smashing hits that really gets you uh, jazzed up and excited uh, to finish out the season. So set that hook really hard and put those hooks in the corner of a pike's mouth. You know, whether it's a five pounder or a 20 pounder, uh, they always provide uh, a great run and a, and a lot of fun on the ice this time of year. So be active, be aggressive, and while you're out exploring, you know, you're setting up holes along, say, a brake line or you're exploring the edge of a shallow flat on those feeder creeks or in those bays, you're going to want to set up some tip-ups where allowable. Now in North Dakota, where I'm at, uh, you can have another three tip-ups out while you're out there jigging. You're allowed four lines through the ice. So set those smelt, set those herring out on treble hooks or on quick strike rigs, whatever's allowed in your jurisdiction, and, and get on those pike while you're exploring the holes and keep an eye open. And when a flag pops on a tip-up, whether it's your uh, round frable hole covering ones that are those nice thermal models or those easily deployable uh, standard versions, you can get out there and get on pike while you're exploring. So have those dead baits laid out. You're going to find that uh, pike are going to relate to those from a break line all the way up into those shallows. So this time of year, pike are going to be scavenging. They're going to be looking for hibernating frogs or maybe some winter killed fish, uh, but they're not terribly picky. Like I said, they're going to attack your aggressive offerings and they're going to take down those big stinky baits, whether it's a smelt or a herring that's uh, frozen and stuck on a hook. Uh, those are going to draw pike in as well. So take advantage of those seasons where uh, they never close, where you have an opportunity to fish pike right up until ice off. So target those areas, the transition areas now, and push up into those bays. Get up in the shallows as we get into the middle of March or late March. It might be that as cold as it's been, those pike are spawning even up under the ice. And you're going to find action right up until that happens. So stop in at your local runnings. Talk to the staff there. They will point you in the direction of where a hot pike bite, pike bite will be going and you'll be able to get on fish with the spoons. Uh, you're going to want braided line, you want a fire line, you know, in an 8, 10, or 12 pound, and you want to have those big spoons, and of course, those quick strike rigs and those treble hook rigs where allowed under law in running's territory to get all set up. They will have that gear for you. So as you wrap up the season, yes, I know it's been cold, but we have so many opportunities in this region of the world and all throughout running's territory to get on some great fishing and to take advantage of every day. Stop in, check out all the accessories that are available from your friends at Runnings, get the hot tips you need, and close out your season strong. For The Rundown, I'm Nick Simonson. Good fishing to you.